I'm back. So anyway, um, four more minutes till the Red Sox run. So I gotta make this one quick. Um, taking your single stroke exercises and adding, we talked a little bit about adding the doubles in. You can add a paradiddle in. Um, again, mixing it up to make it more interesting. So your basic single stroke exercise, one and two and three. What we can do is the three E and a four E and a. We can do is doubles. That was in one of the lessons I did earlier. I just hit on it briefly. I'll take a couple extra minutes to explain it here. So your double strokes, if you're unfamiliar with it, if you're just starting kind of from scratch and checking these videos out, is uh, double strokes, two on each hand, right, right, left. Basic doubles. I'm not going to try and play it fast. There's tons of fast videos on there. These lessons, for the most part, are just trying to give you the basic techniques of what's going on. Um, trying to aim these mainly for beginners and intermediate people. Uh, advanced people are obviously way above this, but you can get something out of this if you're taking, maybe you haven't thought about working on some of the ideas like this. Um, or any other uh, drum teachers that are, you know, basically looking to steal some of my licks. Um, because my hands are fast, super fast. No, they're not. Um, taking, you know, stuff like Mike, Mike Johnston, um, mikeslessons.com. I've been doing some of those online lessons just because for me, it's about a good hour and a half to get to Boston. It's three hours to get to New York. Um, really no drum teachers in my area that I've really spent a lot of time, um, taking lessons with. So for the most part, it's like I've got to drive to Berkeley or that surrounding area, maybe I'm missing a, a, a key person. If somebody's watching this and they have a drum teacher in the Springfield, Mass area that they've been taking with that I don't know about, please send me a message because I'd, I'd love to, to be able to, you know, take something local. Um, but yeah, mikeslessons.com has a ton of great stuff on there. Uh, it's $20 a month. You get a whole bunch of lessons and I watch every single lesson. He archives them. So if I can't make the live lessons, because he does them live, he does them online, um, he does them three times a day on Sunday, Monday, Wednesday. Um, and then you can go back and he archives the lessons so you can watch them at your leisure. But uh, a lot of great stuff that I've taken for myself and taken for my students. And he's always been great if you've seen his stuff on YouTube about not trying to, to say he's invented this or, you know, he's just, he's rehashing a lot of information that other teachers have shown him. Or, you know, he's seen other guys jamming with. He gets together and does, you know, shed se shed sessions and jam sessions all the time with people. And he's talking about, it's a drum community. It shouldn't be hiding secrets from each other. It's about showing somebody a lick and hopefully they're going to show you something back. So for me, if I can give this to uh, other drum teachers that are looking for information or trying to, to clarify stuff for beginning intermediate students, that's the goal. I don't have anything top secret, no top secret licks. Not yet, anyway, I'm working on some. I'm not going to show them to you. I'm going to hide them, keep them for myself. So anyway, back to the, uh, I, I tend to ramble people. You, you're going to probably write comments of stop rambling and get to the lesson, but that's what I do. My students will tell you that. I go on tangents all the time. But anyway, back to what we were doing, um, doing your double strokes combined with the single stroke exercise. So eighth note singles. 16th notes doubles. One and two and three e and a four e and a one and two and three e and a four e and a right left right left right right left left right right left left. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and two three four. One two three four. Doing it. Paradiddles. Paradiddle, for people that aren't familiar with paradiddles, is right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, left. Sixteenth notes are going to be your paradiddles. Eighth notes are just going to be your singles again. One and two and paradiddle, paradiddle. Right, left, right, left, right.
with your right hand and your left hand, all these exercises. Again, a left hand lead exercise that you can check out is going to help you to develop that left hand. That's what you want. You want to develop your weaker limb, legs, feet, left side of your brain, right side of your brain, whatever it is. Try and develop that and get it to catch up with your stronger side. Um, another exercise I'm going to leave you with real quick is just doing a repetitive pattern from what I've read in uh, Modern Drummer magazines and talking to teachers and I've read some stuff on the internet is your body likes everything to be symmetrical. It doesn't want to walk one foot, one knee going higher than the other one or, or anything else. It wants everything to be in order and symmetrical. So if you can do whatever your strong hand is, say your right hand is stronger, try doing fours or eights or sixes and do it repetitively and focus on what you're doing. Look at your hand, feel what your hand feels like. Your brain will try and teach your weaker hand to play like the stronger hand. That's just the way that it wants to be. Wants everything to be equal and uh, both working together as much as possible. So if you're just doing fours, do slow fours. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Speed it up. What I'm doing is looking at the hands and feeling what it feels like. How does this hand feel? Where am I feeling the sticks? Am I feeling it in all my fingers, down to my pinky? What is the fulcrum point between my thumb and my middle finger? And my first finger is kind of like my guide finger. What does that feel like as opposed to my left hand? To try and get them to equal out. Look at your hands, people. Look at them. I have students that will be in lessons and looking around. Not looking at their hands at all. Look at your hands. Because you might see that your left hand's way up on the drumstick, and all of a sudden you're looking and you match them up, and you're like, oh man, my left hand's way up here. Bang, you slide it down, all of a sudden stuff starts to work better. So, just some little tricks of the trade that I'm trying to give you people. If you guys have any questions on any of this, again, I'm going to run uh, all my, my MySpace stuff, and I'm working on getting a website set up because I'm going to really try and start uh, getting more students that, uh, that are doing the Skype stuff and uh, just um, bands that I've played with, eventually I'm putting a drum book together, doing uh, you know, little things, maybe trying to, uh, to do some, some specialized lessons and uh, try and sell those on, on the website. So um, look for that, but MySpace will have my stuff, uh, myspace.com slash John Adams Drums, J-O-N-A-D-A-M-S-D-R-U-M-S. And then uh, JQA bookings at AOL.com. All that stuff will be flashing under the screen. Like if I do this and I'm going to go in with like iMovie and add it in, it's going to be like going, let me see, maybe this way or maybe it'll go the opposite way. So I'm going to do it both ways. You'll see the stuff on the bottom there or, or it'll be going this way. Maybe I'll have it scroll or like flash at you. Um, I don't know. I'll figure it out. I use like two or three different little themes and stuff to put my stuff in there. So uh, yeah, iMovie's great because. It's, Idiots like me can can make it work, and that's what it's all about, making it work. All right, Red Sox are on. It's uh, 8.05. If I miss the first pitch, it's your fault, all right? You. You watching right now. It's your fault. If you're a Yankees fan, I knew it. It's your fault. Drum videos coming soon. Check them out. That's it. That's all I got. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.